Now, Dad, one more thing for mind body I wanted to mention is uh, getting out into nature. You and I have talked about this. Uh, well, you're a, a nature guy. <laughs> I mean, I love I love nature, of course. But you know, I was taking a walk the other day, and I realized that when I'm in nature, and I think a lot of people feel this as well, you're in you're at home because that's yes. where we came from, right? We came from nature. So when you're in nature, you're at home, and that's when you feel really good. And I encourage people uh, as a lifestyle medicine to get out as much as they can. Go for a walk in the neighborhood. Go for a walk in the woods. And even uh, I took a video the other day, which maybe I'll, I'll post at some point. I just I just I, I I filmed a lake and there was raindrops coming down the lake. And that's all you could hear. And that was the most beautiful thing that I'd heard all day was just the raindrops hitting the lake because it was so quiet, so peaceful. And that's what we need in today's world. We need to be at ease. We need to be uh, calm down. Our nervous systems are so worked up all the time that we need to go out in nature and just listen and observe and be mindful of uh, all these beautiful things around us. So simple thing that people can do on a daily basis. Yeah, and I, I can remember when you were a young child, we we came across a still lake, you know, out in, it could have been in BC or it was it was perhaps in Montana. You were about five years old. Mm -hmm. And I t and I took a flat stone and I, I skirted it across the uh, lake and it was, you know, bobbling back and forth. Uh -huh. And you were mesmerized <laughs> by all the circles around, the circles around that stone hitting the water. I'll never forget it. <laughs> Oh, I love so it. You were, you know, you were sort of a Jeremiah Johnson when you were five years old. And now you're <laughs> the same type of guy. You even have the beard. You even look like a, a little bit like Redford. So it's, it's kind of cool. Well, I'm, I'm teaching that stuff to my my uh, my eight year old Kai. Yeah, that's so. good. 